my name is Kate. I am the head of content here at Practical Publishing and Craft World. I have opinions about sewing bee and I'm about to make that your problem. I don't know if you'll agree with me. I might have some controversial opinions. None of them are negative about the sewists. I think they're all absolutely fabulous and I could never in a million years do what they're doing. But I thought it would be fun to see how I would have scored each challenge. What I've done is I have scored the pattern challenge and the transformation challenge each out of five and then the made to measure out of ten. I've totted up everyone's scores. I'm going to see if my scores match up with the judges. More importantly I'm going to see if my scores match up with what you guys would have scored everyone. Um, so please do leave all your comments below, especially if you disagree with me on anything. If you think I've missed anything, please correct me. If you haven't seen this episode of Sewing Bee, you need to go and watch it. There might be some spoilers, obviously, in this video. All series of Sewing Bee are up on BBC iPlayer right now. If you're in the UK, you can get all of that. Go watch it. It's absolutely fantastic. As, as much as I may disagree with certain things, it's a fabulous show. It's wonderful. Sewing Bee, the format is it's broken up into three challenges. You have the pattern challenge at the, at the beginning where all of the sewists are given a pattern blind that they've not seen before. They can raid the haberdashery, find fabric that they want to work with and follow the pattern and they have a time to do that in. I quite like the pattern challenge. I think it's a really good test of skill, of taste, of ability to work under pressure. Then there's the transformation challenge, which is a whole other kettle of fish. I don't think it serves any purpose other than TV entertainment, really. Transforming an old item of clothing into something new is a fantastic skill. It's not something that can be done super quickly, and I think the transformation challenge just makes upcycling of clothes look a bit shoddy and weird of a thing to do, whereas actually it can be great. Um, my favourite challenge, I think everyone's favourite challenge, is the made to measure, where the sewists have had some time to practice, they've chosen their own pattern, they've chosen their own fabric. This is where you really get to see a bit of their personality. Um, and that's what we're all here for, is to watch these sewists shine, because they are genuinely all fabulous. So, let's get into my scoring for Season 8, Episode 1 of the Great British Sewing Bee. We're going to start at the bottom of my ranking, which is the very lovely Mitch. He seems like such a nice guy. He seems like actually he probably can turn out good garments, but possibly not under the pressure of time and Patrick Grant staring at you and the whole occasion of it maybe just got a little bit on top of him because I could absolutely see that he knows what he's doing. He was just forgetting things and making silly mistakes in the moment. So the scores I got for Mitch for his uh, pattern challenge, which was his skirt, it was a little bit messy. The pockets were lopsided. It, again, I think if he had another hour or two, he could have done an absolutely cracking job, but it was messy. I've given him two out of five. For his transformation challenge, uh, they kept saying Dennis the Menace. I uh, did anyone else see Traffic Cone? Just me. Um, again, this for me, it's not even a fault with Mitch. It's a fault with the challenge. I think the challenge. There's, there's only so much you can do. Some some people in this. Okay, I'll, I'll come to them later. They did all right, but Mitch, God bless him. Not so much. I've given him a two in that as well for it's just what can what can you say what can you say it's it is what it is his made to measure i actually think this showed some real personality some style some fun he has some good skills he handled the fabric well he's made some kind of silly mistake with the fit and i can't for the life of me work out what it is but it's very very short on just one side which isn't how clothes are supposed to look as someone with a lot of leg under this table. They're, they're there, I can demonstrate. A lot of leg. You don't want that much leg on show. I'm sorry, Mitch. 
but I loved your choice of fabric. I loved actually 90% of the execution of what you did. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's a five from me, matey. So that means that you're at the bottom of my list for this week. You were at the bottom of the judges list as well. And well, I'll hopefully, you know, see you at a show somewhere and, and tell you that I still really like you because you seem really cool. So next on my list, and I was surprised after I totted this up, I've got Brogan and Angela in a tie. So I'm gonna do Brogan first. Brogan's pattern challenge, I thought was fine. It's fine. It's a skirt. Her transformation challenge. Now this is exactly why I hate the transformation challenge. She's clearly done good work, but nobody would wear this. You've taken wearable items and turned them into unwearable items. And this is not a criticism of Brogan. This is a criticism of the challenge. It's nonsense. Why? Brogan's made to measure. Perfectly fine, nice. Chosen good fabric, chosen a good pattern, executed it well. Well done. There's nothing really majorly special about it, maybe, but it's very nice. It's very wearable. It's not, it's not exciting to me. Do you know? It doesn't make me... Ooh, I need to get my sewing machine out. Does that make sense? But again, very nice. I like you, Brogan. You seem like a good egg. I'm excited to see more from you. I know there's more to come. But everything... From this point on, I think everyone was fine. It was just, I've scored based on how excited I got, got about things. So the next person up is Angela. Now, this is going to be... I, I disagree with the judges here, basically. Angela's pattern challenge, they went absolutely over the moon that she'd done her own binding and she'd matched the lining fabric. Fine, looks nice on the outside, she'd matched the lining fabric and she hadn't finished the raw edge inside. Which you don't have to do with wool. With wool, you can just pink the edge and it's fine. With the lightweight cotton that she's used, okay, fair enough, use that same fabric for the lining, but you, you've got to actually finish, finish the inside edge, at least, please, Angela. So that wouldn't have got top marks for me. I, I gave that a four. It's okay, it's perfectly fine. Nice, pretty. She's taken some initiative, I'll give her that, but I wasn't quaking in my boots. Transformation challenge is a problem with the transformation challenge. I gave her a one, I hate it. I like her. This just, no. Less said about it, better. Her made to measure, perfectly lovely, very nice. It looked like she'd given, given herself a little bit of an easy ride with the fabric. It looks like it's just a nice, probably cotton lawn, something like that, that's relatively stable, relatively easy to work with. Um, it's, it looks lovely and crisp, but that's what you would expect from working with a nice lightweight cotton, probably cotton lawn. It's pretty. She's followed a pattern and done it neatly. That doesn't excite me. So Angela, again, like you, you seem like a good egg. I believe you can push yourself. Steve's pattern challenge. Now, he gets marks for being one of the very few people to attempt pattern matching with his patch pockets. Well done, Steve. However, why have you chosen that blue piping? It looks weird. Go for gold. That would look lovely, like a nice yolky yellow. Any of the colors that are in the fabric. Why is it blue? I mean, it looks perfectly well executed, slightly wonky, but Mm -hmm. I've given you a three. It's, it's middle of the pack for me. It's fine. It's fine. So I, yeah, it's like extra points for the pattern matching, but the blue just completely throws me off. Transformation challenge. Nothing wild here. It's fine. It's actually one of the more wearable pieces. So I've given you a three. Made to measure. Delightful. Very nice. Like this. Sense of personal style. The colours, you know, the, he said he was, um, you know, he had his influences, he's, he's, he's explained the story behind it, I think it's lovely. 
and this is deliberate asymmetry. This is deliberate asymmetry done right. Well done. Congratulations, Steve. You're done good. I've given you a seven. So Marnie, good pattern challenge. Fine. Gave you a four. Interesting transformation challenge. I can see what you're trying to do there. I can see there are people who would be able to get away with wearing that. I'm not one of them, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. given me a four. I wasn't overly massively excited by Ma Marnie's made to measure. It's nicely done. Don't get me wrong. Good match of pattern to fabric. Good execution. Fine. I get this is week one and people are just finding their feet. But there are people and we will come to them who have pushed the boat out a little bit more. This is nice. It's fine. It's a six. Fine. Jill, pattern challenge. Fine. Looks wearable. Looks like a skirt. I don't know what more I can say. I gave this a three and a half because I quite like the colour and I thought she did a decent job with the binding. Transformation challenge. This is actually my favourite. It looks like a thing I could wear. Their cri the judge's criticism was it, was it didn't look out, out enough and I don't know if it's just me but I would wear that out, out. That little pair of black skinnies out on the town. Yeah, completely, absolutely. Judges don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's nice. This is a wearable garment. Well done, Jill. I um, Yeah, I've given you a four and a half, which is as high as I would ever score a transformation challenge because it's a wearable garment. Jill's pattern challenge, perfectly nice. We've been here before. It's a nice pattern, it's a nice fabric, it's well executed, well fitted, it's nice. It's nice. I score it a six. So that's why Jill is middle of the pack. But everything she made, very wearable, very solid. One to watch. Could be a dark horse, our Jill. Now we're coming on to Annie, who I must say, when we uh, had the reveal of the sewists ahead of time, I quite liked the cut of her jib. I, I liked the look of her. Um, and she's not disappointed. Her, her pattern challenge, Nice. Liked her choice of colours. Three and a half. Good. Lovely. I would have just, it's just that little bit of piping I want to see tucked in on the, on the left pocket. Just, just, you're never going to see it from the front, but I, I just don't like that overlap being visible. That's just me. She did have a wonky zip as well. But I really liked it. I think, just wear your t-shirt over your skirt and everybody's going to see your wonky zip. quite liked her transformation. It's fine. Again, it falls into a similar category as I think, was it Marnie's? That I couldn't wear it, but someone could, you know? Fair. She's, she's, she's done some clever things. Annie's made to measure challenge, however. Oh boy, it's pretty. It's really nice. It's got a story. It's got movement. It's got the most gorgeous fabric and the, ooh. Okay, I know, technically speaking, it should be on a par with other people who have done a nice job. But just, I had an emotional reaction to it. I don't know if it was the story of the fabric and her grandma and it's just beautiful and the model looks happy in it and it moves beautifully. And that is a, tr a trickier fabric to work with she's done good guys I think she's I think she did good with this one yeah um, I gave her an eight it's worth an eight right if you look at it it's worth an eight it's worth an eight any day of the week and Chi Chi's pattern challenge perfectly decent fine nice good lovely the pockets look like they're a little bit baggy but I don't know if a good steam might just sort that out the wonderful thing about wool is it's eminently pressable um, so I've not knocked off too many marks for that. I've given it a three and a half just because I think it's really nice and really wearable. I really liked her transformation challenge. I thought she did something different. Again, this says out, out to me. 
it's it feels wearable i like her backless situation and the hulk neck and you know it it looks like i could see someone cool wearing that fair enough um so i gave her a four do you think that's fair I don't know. yeah i think that's fair yeah yeah her made to measure i know it had some technical flaws but i liked her ambition she actually hacked a pattern. She's put in, um, she's made it backless where it's not designed to be backless. Okay, it gaped a little bit on the model, but maybe the model was just holding her shoulders back too far. I don't know. It, it was very pretty. I liked it. I think with a little bit more time, this would have been top notch, perfect. Um, but because it's not completely there, I've given it a seven. So it's, it's actually above the ones that are just nice because I'm giving her points for ambition. I like it, I wanna see more of her. Deborah's pattern challenge, is it a little bit wonky? I don't know, I don't really care. Orange and purple makes me think Scooby-Doo and it makes me happy, so I've given it a four. I am a shallow human being, what can I say? I just look for happiness. Her transformation challenge, she tried. It's a two. Pattern challenge. This is pretty. It's really nice. Very thoughtful use of a very lovely fabric. It looks gorgeous. It removes really nicely. She's executed it really well. It has a bit of flair to it. I've given her a nine. I like it that much. I think it's really pretty. Christian's pattern challenge. I think was very poorly treated. I think it's fabulous. The judges said there was too much going on. I think there's just about the right amount going on. You know what I said before about having a nice yokey yellow for the outline of the, for the binding of the pockets? This is what I meant. It looks really nice. It's got that like cool, slightly 60s vibe to it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I've given it a four. Transformation challenge. I surprise myself here and like it given it a four. I think he's going for something. I like this shoulder situation. Well done. Like it. Nice. Very nice. Not too sure about the fringe, but I have a personal bias against fringe, so that might just be me. Pattern challenge. Made to measure. Christian. Christian. Yes. Lovely. Delightful. Well done. I hate this fabric, but that's just me. I think you've made it look cool. And I especially like your model. That looks like Rachel. She's one of our models. She's really lovely. So yes, um, beautiful, nice, well done. Not my jam, not my personal bag in terms of fabric. And this is my score, so I've given it a seven, even though it's a really, really well done thing. Sorry, Christian, just don't like the fabric. Um, fight me, I guess. And now we come to our top two. Who can it be? Who can it be? Who can it be? Who can it be? I'm being very annoying. Um, are you still here? Tell me how annoying I'm being on a scale of one to ten. Am I as annoying as this fabric? Because it, this is so close to being a really beautiful dress. And it's on Rachel and she's really beautiful. Anyway, top two. My number two is Richie. I think he had a good night all round, did Richie. Richie's skirt, lovely. Judges said he was, uh, he made a smart move choosing dark fabric. Don't care, looks great. What more do you want? I particularly like his, his bind, his bind. Oh. Hmm. His piping, quite fine, delicate, not as, chunky as some of the others. Makes it look a bit more refined. Transformation challenge is a transformation challenge. I like where he was going with the pleating. He should have known when to stop. It was a four for the pattern challenge. Three for this. I can't, I can't give it any more than that. No, no. Made to measure though, that's lovely, right? You've just got it. 
model's delighted, you can see why. She looks gorgeous, she looks happy, it's moving beautifully. Again, lovely use of fabric, something a little bit painterly about it, artistic. Yeah, you're gonna walk into a room and it has drama, it has impact. That's why we sew, a lot of us, is because we want something unique and special and that you can't buy in the shops. It's lovely. It's very pretty. I've given it an eight. Well done, Vicky. And in the work, number one spot. Now, pattern challenge for me starts fairly middling. This is a three and a half. It's fine. I like the pink and red together. Lovely. Transformation challenge. I have to give her points for that way she's used the stripes as ruching. Less said about it otherwise the better. Her made to measure. Manu, this is beautiful. It's it's so close to perfection. I just the, the judges didn't linger on it long enough for me able for me to be able to see it. I can't give a 10 in episode one on principle, but if I could, I would, and it would be to this because it's beautiful. I love the structure. I love the color. I love the fit, the finish, the impact, the drama. It's perfect and I need to make one. It's beautiful. Look, look, look at it. Well done, Manu. This blooming brilliant. Love it. This is why I watch Sucking Bee. For the inspiration, for something like this. And I know how hard Organza is to work with. It is a pain in the bum. And you've done a cracking job. It looks beautiful. It. I would pay a large amount of money for that from a shop, but I wouldn't find it in a shop because it's too next level for me kind of shop. And she made basically made two dresses. She made the slip and the outer. Did, should she get extra, she should have got extra points for that in my book. Judges didn't linger on, linger on it nearly as long. I think it's gorgeous. Manu, round of applause. Okay guys, so did you agree? Did you disagree? Do you think I, have a point with some things transformation challenge do you think that the right person went home i did it's sad someone has to go go home every week i think our mitch did a cracking job but i think i don't think it's any reflection of who he is as a sewist i think he's just not a sewing bee sewist perhaps that the that he needs a bit more time and leisure and you know I, he was, he was great. He got on Sewing Bee in the first place. He's great. It's just everyone else is even greater. Um, reminder before you go, please do leave your comments. Let me know if you disagree with me or if you agree with me. Um, leave a like on this video if you liked it and if you want to tell YouTube to show you more sewing content. And uh, subscribe to the Love Sewing YouTube channel if you want more of these videos. If this one does well enough, I will do the whole season, I promise. Um, and yeah, come over to Craft World, we've got free patterns. We've got a free patch pocket skirt. If you like the look at that patch pocket skirt, we've got a free wrap dress, the Lena wrap dress for our premium members. So yeah, let's come over and see us, we're nice. <laughs> um, and with that folks, I am going to get back to my job and stop having such so many opinions. <laughs>